Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, today's video. I finished a series. I finished The Last Hours by Cassandra Clare. Now, before we get into that, I just want to briefly mention the other Shadowhunter books. So, the very first series that came out was The Mortal Instruments. And in that series, we have The City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. Now, this series is the very first one. It's the one where we get introduced to the Shadowhunter world. So, it is the one series that I feel has the most basis of background for what is a shadow hunter and what is the shadow hunter world and so on and so forth. It is also where we meet Clary Fay, Jace, Magnus Bane and so on. Now the second series that came out in the shadow hunter world which came out kind of simultaneously as the last books of the mortal instruments but it is its own thing. It is the Infernal Devices. So in that one we have Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. And it is the one where among other characters we meet Tessa Gray and of course Will Herondale and that's basically all you need to know about that series. Will Herondale. Most people will agree about that. Now the third series that came out was The Dark artifices and I can't really say that word properly but in that one we had Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows and Queen of Air and Darkness and in that one we meet among other characters Emma Carstales and Julia Blackthorn. So for the chronological order of these series you would have to go through the Infernal Devices which is set way before the very first series that is Mortal Instruments and then the Dark Artifices, which is set a couple of years after the Mortal Instruments. So in the Dark Artifices, we follow characters that we have met in the Mortal Instruments. Now, we get to the series that I just finished, which is The Last Hours. And in that one, we have Chain of Gold, Chain of Iron, and Chain of Thorns. And this one is set right in between the Infernal Devices and the Mortal, mortal Instruments. Basically, it is the kids of the Infernal Devices <laughs> that we follow. So it's a couple of years after the Infernal Devices, a good couple of years because they're teenagers. So like 20 years or so. So with that background, let's get into the series that we're here for or that I want to talk about most. Because I feel that for every like Shadow Hunter series, we get less and less of the world and more just characters because we already know, supposedly, we should already know all the background and all that, so we get very little of what is world building. And it kind of sucks, this world, because it's such an interesting world, really. It's our world, but, like, plus. <laughs> It's our world with monsters <laughs> and whatnot. And the characters aren't that interesting just in themselves. I don't feel the characters are strong enough to hold out that much. Uh, to, to give as much as you want. Because Cassandra Clare's books aren't like skinny books. They're like this big, each of them. They're like a good... I don't know, 600 pages each, at least. Honestly, sometimes it feels like they're like a thousand pages long, but they're not. They're, but they're, they're chunky, chunky books. So for a chunky, chunky book like that, you want more. And honestly, this series, The Last Hours, yes, we get a storyline that's followed throughout the three, and it's, it's not like like the original one where you can tell like the storyline ends and then we get a new one and then we get a new one after that and so on. It has a storyline that follows throughout the three books which is great but the characters are kind of boring. So if you've been reading all the Shadowhunter books so far that's come out we we know a lot of names we know a lot of characters from other series 
and in this one I felt like character names or family names rather that we don't see until like later in line like in Mortal Instruments and and so forth their names their family names are mentioned so many times throughout and it's like we don't know these people yet these are just names thrown out and it's confusing because now I don't know which character I'm supposedly following so all the char it was like just so many balls thrown in at once and I couldn't keep track of the characters so it felt confusing although it's not actually confusing but it felt like I was getting all the balls, all the tiny little balls thrown at me at once. And I'm like, how am I supposed to catch all of these? I can't. I, I physically can't catch 100 tiny balls all at once. It's not possible. And that's kind of how I felt with the characters. It was just like a little piece here, a little piece there. So many tiny pieces of the characters we had and then other characters are mentioned character characters we don't even see and i'm like this is just confusing now i'm not sure if i'm supposed to be keeping track of the characters or keeping track of what the characters are doing i.e the plot line and kind of feels like the worst series yet which is sad because i really liked the world building that we got in the infernal devices the clockwork thing because that's what we got from that series and this is supposedly well it is it's the kids from that series so we should have gotten some of that gothicness back in here because it's still that kind of era but we didn't why well, didn't feel like we did well, i did and i was a bit disappointed at that i'm not gonna lie sad but true <sighs> on the plus side easy read i feel like the writing as in how it's written is better anyway uh thank you so much for watching <laughs> i don't know what kind of emoji we can put in the comments i don't know anyway uh thank you so much for watching i shall see you all next time until then take care uh, bye bye